What is up guys? Welcome back. So What was I gonna say? Oh my god, I Alright, none of this shit is scripted, alright? Everything I record, none of it is scripted. Anyways, this is my daily update video, and I'm really excited because I actually happened to pull something good yesterday. I know I've spent the last like hour or so replying to comments, and um, a lot of people are saying like such such shitty luck, like 60 summons you only get one nat five. I'm not too sad about it because I've realized how strong the water nightmare actually is, and I got her as a variant. And she has resist leader for arena, which is really really good as well. Um, I, I didn't when I first got her I didn't realize how strong seal is and how rare seal is seal is actually very very OP um, not a lot of monsters have it I think only three monsters have seal on their first skill it's basically the wood or not what uh, water nightmare the dark nightmare and the dark Shiva are the only ones that have seal on their first skill um, I think the dark one right yeah seal and then the dark Shiva has seal as well and the Dark Shiva seals only 80%. So I have a 100% chance to seal for 3 turns, which is insanely OP. If you don't know what this does, it basically cancels out the passive skills of of any other skills that they, they use. So like, you know, the, the, the seal like over here, these passive skills, they, they no longer work after you seal a unit. Um, which makes it so they can't like it's it's ten times stronger than silence. I thought it was silence, but I didn't read it properly. But it's it's completely different. It makes it so you can still use your active skill, or your normal and active skill. But it makes it so your passive skill no longer work when they use it. Meaning that you know if you're fighting in the arena, like monsters like um, you know the meta right now is like 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 this shit, the defense aggressors. If if I put seal on them, like all dark sea stars and light Nikes will just hit like wet noodles basically. So they won't do a lot of damage to me and then they ba basically become like a useless tank that has no effect, you know, tied to their skill. Um, and yeah, that, that's why I think seal's really really good. So I'm planning to definitely get her to max level and um, 6 star very very soon. She's probably going to be my next 6 star, I definitely just want to just go ham and raise her to 6 star. Also because of the re uh, another reason is because she has this skill, the HP Siphon. It's basically like the Wood Valk second skill, it's kind of the same thing. Um, restores 10% of your own max HP when you when you heal. So basically you just build a whole ton of HP on her. And I think recently on, from the last patch, like. The, the patch, the upcoming patch, she's going to get buffed in in terms of stats, so that's going to be even better. And um, oh wait, what, was she? I can't remember. I think that was the Persephone. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so it doesn't even matter if she gets buffed or whatever. Like I don't, I don't really care at all. Uh, and I'm going to be able to use her in dungeons because of how this skill works. So if you guys don't know, a lot of the healers, like it has to do with the AI of the healers like actual healers that have a heal on their second skill when they um, the AI makes it so that they don't actually use their second skill unless they're um, either themselves or one of their allies has below 50% HP it's kinda of how the AI works so it makes it a little bit less reliable on auto sometimes because you don't have the like amount of stats you need to be able to like tank damage even after at like half health like just take this for example if you if you're fighting some the boss and the boss like silences your healer after like the turn right before one of your allies um, or one of the your other monsters um, fall below 50% HP. Your healer won't be able to heal for like two turns, and then after two turns, that that guy is already dead. You know, so um, you know if you could have preemptively healed before in order to keep your keep that monster alive, but the AI doesn't do it because of how the AI is programmed. And a, a, work, a workaround for that is like skills that having a secondary healer that has a skill that is tied, or a healing skill, like an HP siphon skill, that is tied to an an active skill or or either the, even the normal skill like the Water Persephone. Um, and that's why like the Water Persephone and the Wood Valk are so strong because they're able to make it so your, your team is remains at full HP like most of the time. And the time, like when they actually do fall below 50% HP, your active healer is able to heal, you know, at that time. So that's that's one of the other reasons why I'm raising her to to six star first. 
So I'm gonna need a few more gleams. I, I have one from the pack I bought before, and I need like two more gleams. Um, can get one from the arena basically tomorrow after it refreshes, but I have to wait another week before I can get my third gleam. So it's gonna be another like at least eight, eight or nine days um, before I can actually get her to, to Evo three. And at the same time, I'm thinking of getting my Dark Cura to Evo three. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be another eight days more um, before I can get this Holy Gleam. I'm gonna use the Holy Gleam, the Holy Gleam from the event, and the Holy Gleam from Tower of Chaos in order to make my Dark Cura Evo three. So uh, I'll be able to raise her and the Dark Cura to Evo three, and then use use them for my, um, you know, future Golem B10 team. For my last unit, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm kind of leaning towards either the Fire Arthur or the Dark, um, the Dark Van Helsing or or Hunter, because they they're kind of similar. They all have stun on their first skill. Um, stun makes it so you can survive a lot easier in the first level, and um, I'm thinking of either like trying to use Sap to kill the boss or use Armor Break and just straight out you know damage the boss and kill him. Um, or maybe I just want to raise another. Defense Breaker that has like Defense Break on their first skill to make Defense Break a lot more reliable. Um, but unfortunately, I can't really do that because I don't have the resources to like raise, you know, for example, Fire Yuki or something to to Evil Three or Evil Two even. Um, she she will definitely be usable at Evil Two, but like I I, I don't have the resources to do that um, unless I pull a few more Yukis, which I don't have any, so that's kind of far away from me. Um, yeah, and that's that's basically it. So that's pretty much it in terms of in terms of progression. And also something I wanted to mention about my YouTube channel is like, you know, yesterday after the video and stuff, um, I woke up this morning and I just had so many replies, like so many comments that I um, that I had to reply to. Like I think the game's growing and my channel is growing really really fast as well. Um, and you know, I've, I've been working really hard on, on trying to make content every single day and. Um, you know, I don't know if my co my content be can be called quality content, but at least it's like helpful to, to some people, and a lot of people do enjoy watching it. So I'm definitely gonna keep going. But the thing I'm worried about is like I I have the habit of um, replying to every single comment that I've that I you know come across, even if they're not, they're not questions, even they're if they're just mentioning something, I still like to go and um, reply to it. And I'm not sure how long exactly I can keep it up because I, I just spent the past hour or so replying to comments and um, other things and like people are asking me for help like you know trying to make a um, the Monsters Super League wiki like is um, trying to make a tier list and ask me to help them as well and um, just a whole bunch of people like um, want me to add them and my Discord starting to get like a lot of people again so I'm not. Like it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to keep up with everything, but I'm still gonna try my very best at least to answer all the um, questions that you guys have. Like if you guys ever have any questions, or um, if you want to have like a discussion in the comment, like when you make recommendations and stuff, um, you know, I'll definitely try my best to to answer those. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I don't know where where this channel is gonna be going, but I do like I envision that it will be pretty big very very soon once this, once a lot of people start coming into the game because I'm fairly active in making making videos um, so yeah that's that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for for all your support and just all your help in the game as well when you when, whenever you um, you know comment and <laughs> and tell me what to do like cuz I I I don't think I'm exactly the best well at this game yet because I, you know, I, compared to a lot of the other players, I started a lot later. But I'm, I'm definitely catching up, and I'm catching up really fast. So, and that's that's um, partly thanks to thanks to you guys. Um, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep making content every single day, and hopefully you guys enjoy my stuff. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace out.